This building right here, being advertised, is a badass deal. 15 units, possible NOI of 100K, 18 cap. And my man Fred is an investor from New Jersey. He wants me to run the number, see if this bad boy passes the sniff test. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I am James Wise, and if you are trying to invest in highly profitable cash flow real estate and you're interested in the Cleveland market, I'm your guy, my man Fred, an investor from Jersey. We do a lot of work with you Jersey boys out there, man. You Jersey guys, you come to Cleveland, right? I like you Jersey guys, right? You guys got the right attitude. You guys are hard workers. You're scrappers, man. You're like me. You're scrappers, okay? But you're sick and tired of scrapping in Jersey when the deck just keeps getting stirked against you, man. The taxes, the landlord-tenant policies. Oh, sweet Jesus, right? So you're coming to a more profitable market, right? A market like Cleveland, I am your guy, right? Fred, you've been watching my show for quite some time, and you were presented this deal, but before you pulled the trigger, you wanted my advice, right? So we're going to go over uh, your info. We're going to go over my thoughts on the building, the whole shebang, dude. Let's see if you need to pull the trigger, right? Because look, dude, 15-unit apartment building for 545000 that's an 18 cap. If that was the end of the story, fuck yeah, bro. Buy that motherfucker yesterday, okay? But is that really the story? Is that really what's going to happen, okay? Now, your biggest uh, concern, right? You're telling me that you are just getting started. This would be a, a, a brand new investment for you. You've never invested in Cleveland. And you feel comfortable in the C-grade neighborhoods, possibly D-grade neighborhoods, okay? So that's your level of comfort, C and D. You are thinking that this building has been presented to you uh, in the fashion that it's probably a CD. By the way, the address, 803 Eddy Road, Cleveland, 44108. My friend... That right there is is the big thing, right? That's going to be the big thing. This is, 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 is no, no, dog. It's not a C-grade neighborhood, okay? This is an F-grade neighborhood, all right? This is one of the most difficult uh, neighborhoods for investors to navigate, right? The level of blight is very high, okay? If you check the tools and resources section of HoltonWise.com, Okay, I have something called the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods, right? I've graded this neighborhood as an F, okay? This is your building right here, bro. All right, right next to it, two vacant lots, a house, and then like five vacant lots. Right here, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot. Over here, whole bunch of vacancies, right? Vacant lots, vacant lots, vacant lots, like vacant lots, two vacant lots right there. There's another one. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Here's two right here. There's two, there's one, there's one, okay? Just in the small general vicinity on Google Earth, bro, you could see all these vacant lots, okay? And what these vacant lots are is the house got so torn down, or not torn down, the house got so dilapidated and run down that it made sense for the city to go in and tear it down, right? Typically what happens, the house gets run down, people stop paying the property taxes, city takes it over, and then it gets so bad they just demolish it, fill in the hole because it's a risk, right? Like junkies go in there, fucking shoot up, fucking motherfuckers kill motherfuckers and hide the bodies in there. Just fucking bad shit, right? You don't want a bunch of just fucking blighted vacant houses in your neighborhood so the city tears them down, right? But the cost to build a house is more... Uh, then what uh, a house is actually going to be worth in this neighborhood. So you see a bunch of vacant lots, right? Because it doesn't make sense. You can't build houses. You can get the lot for a dollar from the land bank, but you can't build a house for the cost uh, that the house would sell for, right? So it doesn't make sense, right? That's because it's extremely blighted. That's what you get when you get an F-class neighborhood, right? Now, am I s saying that, like, dude, you can't make money in an F-class neighborhood? Uh, for you, Fred, yeah, that's what I'm saying for you. 
specifically for you. Am I saying nobody can make money in F-Class neighborhoods? No, you can definitely make money in F-Class neighborhoods, but Fred, it's probably not the appropriate investment decision for you, right? You're going to go into a new market. Well, I know it's not, right? Because you already told me you like C, you like D, right? So I guess my job is pretty much done because, you know, you paid me to verify and it's not C. So that, I guess, could be the end of the story. But, like, let's just go a little further, bro. Let's talk about why. Why? If some people can make money in F-grade neighborhoods, why shouldn't you, Fred? Why shouldn't you take a stab at this property? Why am I discouraging you purchasing this particular property? Because you're in Jersey, dog, right? So you need to hire property management, maintenance, construction. You need to hire all that out in the Cleveland market. Well, a lot of the reputable property management and construction firms don't like to go to neighborhoods that are this blighted. Look, the level of crime, dude, it's incredibly high. Like when you're sending out your landscaping crew, your plumber, this or that, the guys, like, dude, they, they get hassled. People break into their trucks, this or that, the whole thing. It's a freaking mess, and it, it, it takes property managers like me. It takes our turnovers, and they go way, way up, right? From, like, the real estate sales side, like, that's cool. It doesn't really matter what level of crime there is in regards to the sales side, right? But, like, the actual physical construction side, guys literally cutting the grass and parking their trucks there, man. Dude. They're not happy, and you keep sending them to neighborhoods like this day in, day out. What you get is you get a high level of turnover. So for property managers, it's just it's not worth it, right? Because when you're running a property management company, you're running a business, right? And if you can't staff your business, man, it's, it doesn't work, right? So uh, your, your reputable property managers, they're going to shy away from this area, right? So that leaves you, since you can't self-manage it because you're in Jersey, that leads you to hire the small select few of people who will manage it. So what's that going to be? That's going to be new property managers that don't have proven systems, don't have a market share, or even worse, you might run into those Craigslist Cowboys, those unlicensed property managers, bro. They're already breaking the law by running the business in the first place. So you think they're going to be honest with you? No. So your, your, your team, your boots on the ground team is going to be, in my opinion, inadequate. In addition, an F-grade neighborhood is already much harder to manage the tenant base than like a C-grade neighborhood. So you're trying to do something harder with a lower quality team, right? That's not a recipe for success, right? So in regards to like, is it really an 18 cap? Probably not. No, there's like basically no friggin' way I see you making that kind of return, bro. Like you're just going to get beat up and eaten up with... The problems that come uh, with managing tenants and having an inadequate staff, dude, I can't even project out to you what I think you would make, right? Uh, because I just I think your biggest problem is going to be actually staffing your business, right? Uh, rental real estate, it's a living, breathing business, folks. Uh, it's not just like plug this person here and like it's all good. No, man, you actually have to work the business, right? And you would just be too far behind the eight ball to make something like this work. Now, that doesn't mean we can't do some stuff in the Cleveland market, Fred. There's all kinds of opportunity out there for you to build your portfolio. And there's a lot of stuff uh, that I think is much more tenable for you, right? Stuff that my team could step in and handle the day-to-day -day operations for you. So uh, I want you to pass on this one, bro. I want you to pass on this one. And folks, it's very important you know how people get paid, okay? I'm a broker. If Fred wanted to do this deal, I'd operate as his broker after this video, okay? $545,000 property. We're looking at a commission to JY's. Okay, let's see. I did that wrong, I think, because it said a million six. So I obviously hit the wrong button. All right, 545000 We're looking at a 3% commission. We're looking at a $16,350 paycheck for your boy JY's, right? So Fred paid me to do this video. And then if I said, hey, Fred, this is a great deal. Let's, let's do the deal. I'd get sixteen grand, But I instead... What did I do? I spent the entire time telling Fred why it's a bad deal, right? You got to know how your people get paid, folks. So if you're coming to the Cleveland market, right, and you're looking at all these realtors, right, they don't get paid unless 
you do the deal. So what do you think the advice you're going to get is? Yeah, do the deal, do the deal, do the deal. Fred, don't do the deal. No paycheck for me. Fred, do the deal. Here's the contract. $16,000 paycheck for me. You see the difference there? So what we've done, folks, is we've created this, this whole platform where you pay up front. Right, You pay me regardless, just like a home inspector. Fred, you've paid me to give you my unbiased opinion. I'm getting paid either way, baby. Right? Know how your people get paid. Because I know some of you guys, right? you love it, and you know we continue making videos. Right? This is the 942nd video that we've made for a client, and I've got like a backlog of probably five, 600 more videos. Right? People just waiting, and sometimes they're waiting for the market to turn and you know we just have a backlog right investors who want to work with us under this platform but then we get a bunch of you schmucks you call in you talk to my sales staff and you're like i'm not paying that guy up front that's cool dog don't worry about paying me up front right you're right there's a bunch of other realtors that'll work with you for free up front but remember bro remember the only way they get a sixteen thousand dollar paycheck is if you buy it right so if you're from jersey and you're not that familiar with cleveland yeah, talk to one of those people. Don't spend any money up front. And don't have anybody point out to you all the trouble you're going to have in a neighborhood where all the freaking houses are torn down and they're too expensive to rebuild. Or be smart. Be like Fred. Keep watching my show. Give my team a call. Give us your number. And get the real detail, the good, the bad, the ugly on the property before you drop half a million dollars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.